The ancient sage Vamana Rishi practiced yoga postures in this way. One meditative yoga posture flows through endless forms, just as one being manifests an infinity of forms. Currents of energy rise and spread, pulling the body through the whole spectrum of attitudes and viewpoints. Postures strung like flowers on the thread of the breath. This movement produces spontaneous meditation by awakening the core energy of the nervous system, connecting it from its root to the crown of the head. Richard Freeman. Welcome to Ashtanga Yoga, which is the joining of breathing, posture, and movement into series. The series, like chromatic scales in music, flow in logical sequence, one position complementing those which precede and follow it. By practicing the sequential arrangement of yoga postures, you'll be prepared for and able to do what would otherwise be impossible. As we practice the first series, we'll be paying close attention to the breath. Deep, full, even breathing is called ujjayi pranayama, which means victorious stretching of the inner breath. The sound is produced by partially closing the glottis. As much as possible, the sound is kept even in order to create a constant rate of flow. I'll show you. With practice, we will see how thoughts and breath move together. Now, in order to bond the breath and the body and the attention into one, we'll learn two complementary movements in the lower belly, mula and uttiyana bandhas. Mula means root, referring to the root of the anus at the center of the perineum. Uttiyana means flying upwards, referring to a drawing back and up of the lower abdomen above the perineum up to the area two inches below the navel. Bandha means bonding. I'll show you how to begin their practice in conjunction with the full ujjayi breathing. Sit as straight as possible in Padmasana or just cross the legs. Place the fingertips on the lower belly, about two inches below the navel. I'll use these sticks so you can see clearly. Lift and open the heart. Drop the shoulders. Smile softly to open the back of the palate. Start creating the aspirin sound with the breath while exhaling smoothly. During and at the end of the exhale, you can feel the contraction of the perineum. At the beginning of the inhale, draw back the lowest lower belly as if sucking. This will keep the essence of the mulabandha the center of the perineum, drawn together during the entire course of the inhalation. During the smooth exhalation, keep the heart open, the palate empty, while clarifying the mula bandha. During the inhalation, draw the center thread of the perineum up with the instrument of the breath. This occurs easily if you imagine 
that the inhale is flowing down to the sitting bones where it rebounds off the spring of the perineum. The inner movement of the inhale rises up as the mula bandha and further lifts and opens the heart and the whole front of the spine right up through the root of the palate. Cultivate this internal movement with more patience than a farmer tilling the soil. Never assume that you've mastered it. This bonding of the breath and the attention at the root of the nervous system in conjunction with an open heart is the foundation of all yoga postures. As we practice, we'll be gazing at different points. This concentrates the mind and affects reflexes in the neck and along the spine. When gazing, keep the root of the palate, the back of the palate, open so that the gaze is soft and without strain. It's just looking. It's not anyone looking at anything. Let's stand up and while continuing the cultivation of the breath, we'll learn the components of Surya Namaskara, the sun salutation. So we'll stand in Samastiti, with the sides of the big toes touching, the roots of the toes spread wide, we'll drop the weight of the body just in front of the heels. We'll lift up the center of the heart, dropping the shoulders low, and we'll draw the lowest lower belly slightly back and up, just above the pubic bone. From this position, with the inhale, we'll turn the palms out and we'll reach up. Look at the thumbs. Exhaling, open the palms, look between the eyebrows and pull back the pubic bone, folding over. Two-thirds of the way down, drop the head and look to the nose. Inhaling, lift the head, look between the eyebrows, pull back the pubic bone, and then exhaling, fold, and look at the tip of the nose. Inhaling, look up between the eyebrows, come all the way up with a straight spine, reach for the sky, look to the thumbs, and then exhaling, We'll bring the arms back down to the sides. This initial movement should be practiced again and again by new students to learn the bonding of the movement, the breath, the gaze, and the attention. So now we'll learn the sun salutation, which is the foundation for all of the series in Ashtanga Yoga. Again, with the inhale, we'll turn the palms of the hands out, and inhaling, we reach to the sky, looking to the thumbs. Exhaling, pull back the pubic bone. Two-thirds of the way down, look to the nose. Inhaling, Straighten the spine, look between the eyebrows. And now for an interesting movement. Bend the knees, and you can either hop back or step back to this position. Try lowering yourself so you're two to four inches from the floor. With the inhale, point the toes, Lift the heart, look way, way back and up. Exhaling, pull back the pubic bone, roll over the toes, spread open the buttocks, and look up towards the navel. Exhaling, bend the knees, 
look at the floor between the hands, and either hop or walk forward. Place the feet together, look up between the eyebrows. Exhaling, fold, look to the nose. Inhaling, look up between the eyebrows, reach for the sky. And then exhale, back to Samastitihi. A footnote. When jumping back, if you haven't developed strength enough in the arms to hold the body two to four inches from the floor, just come back and hold the body with straight arms. Then you can simply roll over the toes, inhale, release the belly, and exhaling, pull back the groins. Bend the knees. If hopping forward doesn't work out, you can just walk forward. Place the feet in some astitihi position, and then inhaling, look up. Exhale, fold. Inhaling, look between the eyebrows. Exhale, back to the beginning, Samastiti. We stand in Samastitihi, the sides of the big toes touching, the roots of the toes spreading wide, the weight falling just in front of the heels, an even distribution of weight. The center of the heart lifted in full bloom, the back of the body flowing down, the lower belly drawn slightly back and up just above the pubic bone. The center of the crown ascends. Perfect attention. Open ears. Surya Namaskara, the salutation to the sun. With the exhale, we'll bring the arms down. Inhaling, turn the palms out, draw up the kneecaps, reach up and look to the thumbs. Smoothly exhale, pulling back the pubic bone, look to the tip of the nose. Inhaling, look up between the eyebrows. Bend the knees, and exhaling, jump back. Inhaling, pull up the heart, pull in the coccyx, and exhaling, pull back for five breaths of ujjayi pranayama. Listen to the sound of the breath. Spread open the roots of the fingers and the roots of the toes, and ground them evenly. Pull the front of the leg up and press it into the back of the leg. Draw the inseams of the legs back, and then at the end of the exhale, bend the knees. Inhaling, look up and hop. Place the feet in samastitihi. Exhale, fold, look at the nose. Inhaling, look between the eyebrows. Come all the way up with a straight spine. Look to the thumbs. Exhaling, samastitihi. Inhaling, the arms come up. The lower belly remains hollowed. Exhale, pull back the pubic bone, and then look to the nose. Inhaling, straighten out the spine from your tail. Exhaling, hop back. Keep the shoulders squared here. And then inhaling, lift the heart, look way up and back. Exhaling, pull back the pubic bone. Spread the backs of the legs open. Listen to the sound of the breath. Ground the root of the index finger as you pull the pubic bone further and further up and back between the legs. Soften the throat. Widen the backs of the shoulders so that the skin of the back of the neck and the back of the shoulders flows down the back. Exhale, bend the knees. 
Inhaling, place the feet up, look up between the eyebrows. Exhaling, fold over, look to the nose. Inhaling, look up between the eyebrows. Reach for the sky, look to the thumbs. Exhaling, samastiti, equal standing. Inhaling, arms come up, kneecaps come up, perineum comes up. Smoothly exhale and look to the tip of the nose. Inhaling, straighten the spine, pull up the kneecaps, look into the forehead. Exhaling, come to the fourth position. Inhaling, pull up the heart, release the belly. Exhaling, pull back, spreading the fingers and the toes. Lift and widen the buttocks. So the skin rolls free, the upper inner thigh flows up, back and out, the outer edge of the heel is grounding, the roots of the fingers are grounding, the shoulders are wide and strong, the throat's soft. Exhaling, bend the knees, inhaling, place the feet together and look up. Exhaling, fold, look at the tip of the nose. Inhaling, look between the eyebrows, come up with a straight spine, look to the thumbs. Exhale, samastitihi. Surya Namaskara B, the second salutation to the sun. Inhaling, bend the knees, lift the arms, look to the thumbs. Exhale up and over, like doing a swan dive, then look to the nose. Inhaling, straighten out the spine. Exhale, jump back. Inhaling, pull up the heart with straight legs. Exhaling, pull back, take the left heel in and the right foot forward. Inhaling, lift the arms and drop the back of the body. Exhaling, come back down. Inhaling, pull up the heart, press down the shoulders. Exhale, pull back, take the right heel in and the left foot forward. And then inhale, look to the thumbs. Exhaling, come down. Inhaling, pull up the heart. Exhaling, pull back for five rounds of ujjayi pranayama. Well, this is a breathing exercise. Stay with the breath. Smile softly to yourself to empty the palate. Keep the eyes steady and keep the legs enthusiastic. So we're opening the buttocks totally into the sky without a reservation. Exhaling, bend the knees. Inhaling, place the feet together and look up between the eyebrows. Exhaling, fold, look to the nose. Bend the knees, inhaling, lift the arms, look to the thumbs. Exhaling, come up like you're swimming into samastitihi. Take a breath. Inhaling, the knees bend as the arms come up, look to the thumbs. Up and over with the exhale. Inhaling, straighten out the spine, open the soles of the feet, and then exhale back. Keep the arms parallel. Inhale, pull up the heart. Exhaling, pull back. Take the left heel in and the right foot forward. Inhaling, lift the arms. Look to the thumbs. Exhale, come back down. Inhaling, pull up the heart. Completely release and stretch the belly. Exhale, pull back. Take the right heel in and the left foot forward. Then inhale, Sink as low as possible. Exhale, come back down. Inhaling, pull up the heart. Exhaling, pull back. Spread open the fingers and the toes. The energy flows up the front of the spine to be received by the palate. The buttocks lifts and widens endlessly into the sky as the center of the perineum closes. 
And then exhaling, we'll bend the knees. Inhaling, place the feet together and look up. Exhale, fold. Bend the knees, inhaling, lift the arms. And exhaling, come up to Samastitihi. Shoulders pressed low, take a breath. With the inhale, the knees bend, the arms come up. Exhale, up and over, look between the eyebrows and then to the nose. Inhale, pull out straight. Exhale, jump back. Inhaling, open the heart, open the groins. Exhale, pull back, take the left heel in and the right foot forward. Inhale, look up to the thumbs. Exhaling, come back down. Inhaling, shoot the hips forward, pointing the toes. Exhaling, pull back the groins, take the right heel in, the left foot forward. Inhale, look to the thumbs. Exhale, back down. Inhaling, pull up the heart. Exhaling, pull back. Listen to the sound of the breath. Follow the breaths to their ends. The better the alignment of the posture, the deeper the breath will flow. Keep the throat soft. Ground the index finger. Widen the shoulders. Widen the kidneys. Empty the lower belly in front of the sacrum. And then exhaling, we'll bend the knees. Inhaling, put the feet together and look up. Exhaling, fold. Bend the knees. Inhaling, lift the arms. And exhaling, come up to samastitihi. And then pad angushtasana. Place the hands on the hips. Inhaling, bend the knees. Exhaling, separate the feet six to eight inches. Turn the outer edges of the feet so they're parallel. With the hands right at the hip joint, inhale, lift the heart, open the groin so the front seems to flow up. Exhaling, pull back the pubic bone and take the big toe with the middle and index fingers. Inhaling, look up between the eyebrows, straighten the spine, straighten the arms, pull back the pubic bone. Exhaling, Fold around the line of the groins. Point the crown of the head down as you look to the tip of the nose. Listen to the breath. Proceed methodically, bit by bit, with the breath. Pull with the arms, but intelligently, so that there's no crunching of the back of the neck, no stress in the throat or the palate. Complete each breath. Ground the roots of the big toes in resistance to the pull of the fingers. With the inhale, we'll lift the head to look between the eyebrows. Exhaling, place the hands under the feet into Hastapadasana. Inhaling, lift the head, look between the eyebrows. And exhaling, fold again around the line of the groins widening the backs of the legs, pulling the kneecaps up. Spread open the roots of the toes to mush the hands down into the floor. And we're looking at the tip of the nose with the palate empty, patiently cultivating a hollowness just behind the pubic bone. With the inhale, we'll look up between the eyebrows, Straighten the spine. Exhaling, place the hands on the upper hip bones and inhale up with a straight spine. Exhaling, hop back to samastitihi position. Inhaling, bend the knees. Exhaling, jump to the side and turn the right foot straight out to the side, squared with the mat for trikonasana, the triangle pose. Pull the left toes forward a few degrees. With the exhale, reach out 
way out over the right toes and take the shin ankle or big toe lift the heart up the front of the spine and from the lower belly turn to look up at the left thumb the left thumb should be right over your nose move from the sacrum gradually pulling the back of the body into the front of the body from the lower belly spin right up the front of the spine through the center of the crown of the head. With the inhale, we'll come up slowly and smoothly. Turn to the other side. Lift the kneecaps, inhale, lift the heart, drop the shoulder blades. Exhaling, reach way out over the left toes and take the left shin, ankle, or big toe. Lift the heart up the front of the spine and turn. Ground the root of the left big toe, the inner left heel. Ground the outer right heel as you lift the right sitting bone up in order to move the left sitting bone under the right sitting bone. Keep lengthening both arms with a spiraling movement. Keep the eyes soft, steady, wide. With the inhale, we'll come up smoothly and we'll turn for Parivrita Trikonasana. With the exhale, place the left hand next to the right foot. Pull back the right sitting bone. Turn carefully, reach up as if to touch the ceiling and look to the right thumb. So the hips are turned like a steering wheel, the right sitting bone is being pulled back as the upper left hip bone comes forward and down towards the inner right thigh. Keep the inner edge of the right foot grounded, keep the outer left heel grounded, and keep spinning so that the heart opens and the shoulders are drawn far from the ears. Keeping the right hand up, exhale and look down at the left hand. Inhaling, reach out over the toes, come up turning like a windmill, Turn to the other side, draw the right toes 60 degrees forward, and exhaling, reach out with the right hand, clip the outer left hip back, place the hand, and carefully turn. Keep the heart lifted up the front of the spine, both shoulder blades pressed down the back. Gaze at the left thumb, and keep drawing the kneecaps firmly up the fronts of the legs as the inner left and outer right heels simultaneously ground. Listen to the sound of the breath. Tune the posture with the breath. With the exhale, we'll look down at the right hand. Inhaling, reach out over the toes, come up, Turn the feet parallel, and then exhale, hop back to samastitihi position. Parshva Konasana. Inhaling, bend the knees, exhaling, open to the side. Turn the right foot out, lift the arms, drop the shoulder blades. With the exhale, track the right knee right out over the right ankle. And then place the fingertips of the right hand on the floor outside the right ankle. Turn from the lower belly towards the ceiling. First look up at the ceiling with both eyes from under the arm. And then look to the center of the palm of the left hand. Ground the outer left heel, the inner right heel. Keep the right knee back against the right arm. And spin from the lower belly reaching for infinity with the left hand and the left foot. And then inhaling, we come back up, straighten the right leg, and exhaling, turn around to the other side. Inhale, pull down the shoulder blades, pull in the coccyx, and exhaling, track the left knee right out over the left ankle. Place the left hand down outside the left ankle and turn from the lower belly. Look first up at the ceiling and then to the center of the palm of the right hand. 
spin the right arm externally so that the skin of the back of the neck seems to flow down the back. Bring the left kidney to the front of the body. Open the groins with enthusiasm. Keep spinning and reaching for infinity. With the inhale, we come back up, we straighten the left leg, turn the feet parallel to each other, and then exhaling, hop back to the beginning, to Samastitihi. Prasarita Pad Uttanasana. Inhaling, bend the knees. Exhaling, hop to the side and place the hands right at the hip joint. Turn the feet so the outer edges are parallel. Then, inhaling, open the groins and lift the heart just as far as it's comfortable. Exhaling, pull back the pubic bone and place the hands at shoulder widths between the feet. Inhaling, lift the head, look between the eyebrows, open the buttocks fully. Exhaling, fold around the line of the groins, place the center of the crown of the head on the floor, or at least on its way towards the floor, and look to the tip of the nose, smiling softly to yourself. Lift up the kneecaps, empty the lower belly, empty the palate, gaze towards the tip of the nose. Listen to the sound of the breathing. The heart of the posture is the breathing. Then, with the inhale, we'll lift the head, look between the eyebrows. Exhaling, place the hands on the upper hip bones. Inhaling, come up with a straight back. Exhale. Inhaling, open the arms to the sides, dropping the shoulder blades. Exhaling, bring the hands back to the hip joint. Inhaling, lift the heart, release the groins and belly so they flow up. And exhaling, pull back and bring the fingertips into the lower belly so that the fingertips can look into the lower belly to see how the cultivation of Uddiyana and Mula Bandhas is coming. Pull the shoulders far from the floor, away from the ears. Ground the inner edge of the foot and keep lifting and widening the outer shell of the buttocks. Then the inhale looks up between the eyebrows and draws us all the way back up to standing. Exhale. Inhaling, open the arms to the sides, dropping the shoulder blades. Exhaling, clasp the hands together behind the back. Inhaling, straighten the arms, lift the heart. And exhaling, pull back the pubic bone, bring the hands all the way up and over to the floor or on their way to the floor. Gaze at the tip of the nose and proceed breath by breath, stretching open the sole of the foot, drawing the inseam of the leg back up and out, emptying the lower belly so that it's hollow just above the perineum. Complete the exhale. Then, with the inhale, look into the forehead and come all the way back up to standing. Exhale, bring the hands to the hip joint again. Inhaling, lift the heart, open the groins. Exhaling, pull back the inner groins and take the big toes with the middle and index fingers. Inhaling, lift the head, look between the eyebrows. Exhaling, fold, and again look to the tip of the nose. So actually pull with the arms, but keep the shoulders high and wide away from the floor. So we're drawing the skin of the upper back and shoulders down the back towards the hips. Keep lifting and widening the buttocks. Keep drawing the inseams of the legs back and ground the roots of the big toes in resistance to the pull of the fingers. With the inhale, we'll lift the head, 
to look between the eyebrows. Exhaling, place the hands on the hips. Inhale up with a straight spine. And exhaling, hop back to Samastitihi, touching the sides of the big toes together. Parshvottanasana. Inhaling, bend the knees. Exhaling, jump to the side. Turn the right foot out squared with the mat and bring the left toes forward 45 to 60 degrees. Fold the hands behind the heart as if you were praying. Turn the hips all the way to the right and lift the kneecaps firmly. Inhaling, lift the heart and open the left groins. Exhaling, reach out with the chin over the right foot clipping back the outer right hip. Fold. Look at the second toe of the right foot. Keep the kneecaps pulled upwards. Ground the inner edge of the right foot continuously as you pull the right sitting bone back. Lift the elbows. Keep the weight just in front of the heels. With the inhale, come up slowly and smoothly. Exhaling, turn around to the other side. Square the hips all the way to the left. Lift the kneecaps. Inhaling, lift the heart. Open the right groins. Exhaling, reach out with the chin. Spread open the sole of the left foot like you would open an oriental fan. Continuously ground the inner edge of the left foot. Ground the outer right heel. Keep the right kidney down, the left sitting bone back. Draw up the fronts of the legs, just as if you were pulling long socks up. Gaze steadily at the second toe of the left foot with soft, friendly eyes. Complete the exhale, and then with the inhale, we'll look up, Come up slowly, turn the feet parallel, and exhaling, hop back to Samastitihi. Hasta Pad Angushtasana, the hand on the big toe posture. So put the left hand on left hip, take your right big toe with the middle and index finger. Inhaling. Straighten out the right leg, lift the heart, drop the shoulders. Exhaling, bow to the right foot, bringing the chin towards the right knee. Look at the tip of the nose. Draw the backs of the shoulders continuously down the back. Press the root of the right big toe forward in resistance to the pull of the fingers. Then with the inhale, Lift the heart up, straighten the right arm. Exhaling, open the right leg to the right and look to the left at some single point on the horizon for balance. Keep the heart open, the breath strong and smooth. Then with the inhale, bring the foot back around to the front with the exhale, once again, bow to the foot. Then inhaling, lift up the heart, straighten the arm. And exhaling, release the right foot to float effortlessly in the air for three breaths. Then with the exhale, bring the foot back down to samastitihi. Good, the other side. We'll take the left big toe with the left hand, and then inhaling, straighten the left leg, keep the heart lifted. With the exhale, bow to the left foot. Bend the left arm at least a little bit, and keep guiding the skin of the back of the body downwards. This will give you strength. With the inhale, we'll lift up the heart, square the shoulders. With the exhale, open carefully to the left and look to the right. Keep the left sitting bone weighted so that the hips remain level.
Then, with the inhale, bring the leg back around to the front. Exhaling, again, bow to the foot. Inhaling, lift up the head again. Exhaling, release the foot to float in the air for three breaths. Keep the hands on the hips, gaze at the big toe. And then with the exhale, return to samastitihi. Good. Ardha Baddha Padmottanasana. The half bound lotus forward bend. Inhaling, pick up the right foot, bring the heel towards the lower belly. And exhaling, reach around your back and take the right big toe if it's available. Inhale. Exhaling, choose a point on the horizon for the eyes and fold. Steady eyes help you balance. Inhale, lift the head, look between the eyebrows. And exhaling, fold carefully. Keep emptying the lower belly and gaze first towards the tip of the nose. If you're flexible, you can place the chin on the shin and gaze up between the eyebrows or at the toes. Then, with the inhale, lift the head, straighten the spine. Stay in this position, exhaling. And then, with the inhale, come back up, open the groins, open the heart. Exhaling, return to samastiti. Okay. Inhaling, we'll pick up the left foot, Draw the heel up and in towards the lower belly. And then exhaling, reach around the back and take the left big toe. Inhale. Exhaling, pull back the groins and place the right hand next to the right foot. Inhaling, lift the head, look between the eyebrows. And exhaling, again, fold. Keep the gaze of the eyes steady, the sound of the breath smooth, and allow the intelligence of the breath to balance all of the various actions of the body, both inside and outside. Keep smiling softly to yourself from the root of the palate. Then with the inhale, we'll lift the head, look between the eyebrows. Exhale, stay in place with steady eyes. Inhaling, come up with a straight spine, open the groins fully. Exhaling, step back to samastiti. Okay. And then utkatasana, which we enter through the sun salutation. With the inhale, turn out the palms, lift the arms, lift the kneecaps, look to the thumbs. Exhaling, Pull back the pubic bone and look to the nose near the end of the breath. Inhaling, look up between the eyebrows. Bend the knees and exhale back. Keep the shoulders squared. Inhaling, pull up the heart. Pull in the coccyx. Exhaling, pull way back. Then bend the knees and inhaling, hop forward into a half squat Lift the arms, look up to the thumbs. So the sides of the big toes should touch. The back of the body drops down. The back of the spine continues to move downwards and downwards as the front of the spine moves up. Gradually drop lower and lower so the posture gets more and more interesting. Then with the inhale, drop four inches lower, and with the exhale, come all the way up and fold over. Look between the eyebrows and then to the tip of the nose. Inhaling, straighten the spine, looking up. Bend the knees, exhale back. Inhaling, pull up the heart, press down the shoulders. Exhale, pull back, take the left heel in and the right foot forward. 
Then inhale, reach up and look to the thumbs. This is Vira Bhadrasana, the warrior pose. Keep grounding the outer edge of the left heel, the inner edge of the right heel. Drop the back of the body. Keep the heart open, the breath deep and smooth. Then, with the inhale, we'll straighten the right leg, keep the arms up. Exhale, turn all the way around to the other side. And then, bend the left knee, tracking it right out over the left ankle. Look up to the thumbs. Weight the right sitting bone. Ground the inner edge of the left foot, the outer edge of the right foot, inhaling, Open the arms to the side, turn the hips back around to the right, and look at the tip of the middle finger of the left hand. This is the second form of the warrior pose. The skin of the back is pulled down, the coccyx is awakened, curled into the body. Ground the outer right heel, the inner left heel, and then inhaling, straighten the left leg, Turn the feet to the other side, and exhaling, track the right knee right out over the right ankle. Keep dropping the shoulder blades, spinning both arms longer. Reach back through the left arm. Clip the front of the left thigh back to ground the outer left heel. Gaze steadily at the finger tip. Then we return to the first form. Inhale, drop the left heel further back. Look up to the thumbs. Exhale, drop down to Chatwari. Inhaling, pull the heart up, pull in the coccyx. Exhale, pull back. Bend the knees, look up between the hands. And inhaling, we'll sit down on the floor between the hands. During the next section of the series, we'll be practicing the essential movements of the sun salutation between each posture. This will give us an opportunity to re-establish Uddhyana and Mula Bandhas and to erase the slate clean between the postures. To do this, we have to lift up and then jump back to Chatwari, the fourth position. It's done this way. With the inhale, we lift. And exhaling, throw the feet back. Inhale. Exhale. If this proved to be a little bit difficult at first, the alternative is to place the hands just in front of the knees at shoulder width, and then either hop back or step back. Lower yourself. Inhaling. Pull in the coccyx, exhaling, pull back. Stretch out both legs straight in front, put the sides of the big toes together. Place the hands next to the buttocks. This is Dandasana, the staff pose. Lift up the heart, draw the chin down, and look softly to the tip of the nose. This is a meditative posture, a good opportunity to re-establish Mula Bandha and Uddiyana Bandha. Keep drawing the sitting bones back, keep pushing the inner edge of the foot forward with enthusiastic legs. Draw the pubic bone down towards the earth. Then, Paschimottanasana. With the inhale, Lift the arms, stretch up, look to the thumbs. Exhale, fold around the groins and take the big toe with the middle and index finger. Inhaling, lift up, look between the eyebrows, drop the shoulders. And exhaling, fold around the groins. Look to the tip of the nose and proceed breath by breath to tune the legs. If you're flexible and you can bring 
your belly all the way down into the legs. Look up between the eyebrows. Keep pushing the inner edge of the foot forward, drawing the skin of the inner thighs down towards the floor. Roll the shoulders back away from the ears. Ground the sitting bones. Proceed breath by breath. And then, with the inhale, look up between the eyebrows, straighten the arms, open the heart. Exhaling, take the side of the foot or reach forward beyond the foot, taking one hand with the other. Inhale, look up between the eyebrows. Exhaling, again, fold right around the groins. So from the hip joints, we're moving up and over. Listen to the sound of the breath. Follow the breath to their ends. The sitting bones constantly move back and down into the earth. The heel goes forward. The legs have a slight inward spin, which allows the hip joints to fold closed completely. Keep the heart open, the eyes steady. And then, with the inhale, look up between the eyebrows, straighten arms. Exhaling, place the fingers about 12 inches behind the hips and lean back, pulling the shoulders back. Purva Uttanasana. Inhale, lift up the heart, look back and up between the eyebrows, and stretch the big toes to the floor. Pull the front of the body up, move the back of the body down. Use the power of your tail. Take a deep breath in. Exhaling, sit down, cross the legs. Inhaling, lift up, and exhaling, jump back. Inhaling, pull up the heart, release the belly. Exhale, pull back, bend the knees, and inhaling, we'll sit down again. Exhaling, pull the right foot back into the half lotus position. This is Ardha Bada Paschimottanasana. Exhale, reach around and grab the big toe. If you can't reach the toe, forget about the toe. Take the left foot with the left hand. Inhale, look up. And exhaling, will fold. Gradually bring the chin towards the left shin or knee. Spin the hips to the right, drawing the right kidney down towards the floor. Keep pressing the inner edge of the left foot forward. Move from the lower belly, two inches below the navel. Then, with the inhale, look up between the eyebrows. Exhaling, cross the legs. Inhaling, lift up. Exhaling, jump back. Inhaling, look way up and back with stiff legs. Exhale, pull back, bend the knees. Inhaling, glide through again. Exhaling, pull the left heel back towards the lower belly. Bring the left knee forwards. Exhale, reach around and try to reach the big toe. Take the right foot with the right hand, turn the hips to the right so they face the right foot. Look up between the eyebrows. Exhaling, fold slowly forward. So the right leg remains enthusiastic. The inner edge of the right leg is being drawn towards the floor. The leg is widening to the right from its root drawing the left kidney down, gaze towards the tip of the nose or between the eyes if you're very flexible. With the inhale, we'll look up between the eyebrows, lift the heart, exhaling, cross the legs, inhale, lift, exhale, jump back, inhale, pull up the heart, curl in the coccyx, Exhale, pull back the pubic bone way, way back. 
and then inhaling we'll fold the right leg in half as we stretch the leg out straight in front this is called tiriyan mukha ekapada paschimottanasana roll the right calf muscle out to the right and tuck the skin of the outer right thigh down towards the floor and free the skin of the left sitting bone back sit as straight as possible inhaling reach up with the arms exhaling fold and take the left foot inhale look up between the eyebrows straighten the arms and exhaling fold listen to the sound of the breath keep drawing the right kidney firmly down draw down the inner edge of the left leg towards the floor and draw the skin of the outer right thigh down towards the floor all of this is done at once so we're moving against the asymmetry of the posture make the right sitting bone heavy with your awareness with your breath then inhaling lift the head look between the eyebrows smoothly exhale and push back into chatwari fourth position inhaling pull up the heart stretch the belly exhaling pull back bend the knees and then inhaling we'll fold the left leg in half as we stretch the right leg out straight in front adjust the left calf and left thigh pull the right sitting bone back and out inhaling reach up look to the thumbs exhaling fold and take the right foot inhale look up between the eyebrows and exhaling fold keep the left sitting bone heavy with attention and breath keep widening the right leg from its root drawing the outer left thigh down drawing the left kidney down proceed patiently breath by breath always keep the palate empty the eyes steady the ears open then with the inhale look up between the eyebrows with the exhale push back into chatwari with the inhale pull up the heart pull in the coccyx exhaling pull back the groins open the buttocks to the sky bend the knees and inhaling we'll sit down between the hands janu shirshasana with the exhale pull the right heel back near the groins and then reach forward and take the left foot with the hands inhale look up between the eyebrows and square the hips to the left exhaling fold over the left leg push the right knee down and back firmly draw the right kidney forward and down towards the floor and widen the bottom of the left leg to the left so that the inseam of the left leg is moving down towards the floor so there's an internal twist of the hips in this posture inhaling lift the head look between the eyebrows exhaling cross the legs inhaling lift up exhale jump back inhale pull up the heart exhaling pull back bend the knees inhaling sit down exhaling pull back the left heel take the right foot with the hands and inhaling look up exhale again fold keep the sole of the right foot spread open keep pressing the inner edge of the right foot forward drawing the inner right thigh down towards the floor bring the left kidney down and forward so the left buttocks should be hard as the left knee presses down the right buttocks is soft as the right sitting bone travels back with the inhale we'll look up between the eyebrows 
Exhaling, cross the legs. Inhale, lift. Exhale, jump back. Inhaling, look way up and back. Exhaling, bend the knees. Inhaling, look up and sit down between the hands. Janushir Shasana B. With the exhale, lift up the buttocks and place the right heel between the sitting bones, just in front of the anus. Reach forward and take the left foot and square the hips all the way to the left. Inhale, look up between the eyebrows. And exhaling, fold over the left leg. Gaze at the tip of the nose or up between the eyebrows or at the toes. Draw the right kidney down. Allow your right heel to teach your perineum how to wake up. Complete the breaths. Let the skin flow all around the body. With the inhale, we'll look up between the eyebrows. Exhaling, cross the legs. Inhale, lift up. Exhaling, hop back. Inhaling, pull up, pull in the tail. Exhale, pull back. Bend the knees and inhaling, we'll sit down again. With the exhale, lift up and place the left heel between the anus and genitals. Reach forward, take the right foot. Inhale, look up, square the hips to the right and exhaling, fold. So the right sitting bone is being pulled back and back and back. Press the inner edge of the right foot forward as you draw the left kidney down. Listen to the breath. Smile softly to yourself so that the palate feels empty. With the inhale, We'll look up between the eyebrows. Exhaling, cross the legs. Inhaling, lift. Exhale, jump back. Inhale, lift the heart. Curl in the coccyx firmly. Exhale, pull back. Bend the knees. And inhaling, we'll sit down again. Janu Shirshasana C. Pull back the right heel. Exhaling. Pull the heel up and turn the toes down into the floor. Draw the right knee forward and take the left foot. Inhaling, look up between the eyebrows. Exhale, fold. Keep the palate released, the eyes steady, the ears open. Proceed breath by breath with infinite patience. If this posture is too difficult at first, you can do one of the preceding postures as a substitute. Draw the right kidney down towards the back of the right ankle firmly. And then inhaling, straighten the arms, lift the heart, look up. Exhaling, cross the legs. Inhaling, lift. Exhale, jump back. Inhaling, pull up the heart. Exhaling, pull back the groins. Bend the knees. Inhaling, sit down again. Exhaling, pull back the left heel. Point the left toes down. Pull back the right sitting bone. Take the right foot. Inhale, look up between the eyebrows. And exhaling, fold. Let the breath circulate through the whole body. Let the breath create Uddhyana and Mulabandhas. Keep the right leg and foot enthusiastic, the shoulders away from the ears, the throat soft. With the inhale, look up between the eyebrows, exhaling cross, inhale lift, exhale jump back. Pull up the heart, press down the shoulders, exhale pull back. Bend the knees, and inhaling, we'll sit down again. Marichasana. Exhaling, pull back the right foot, and place the right foot about six inches from the inner left leg, parallel to the left leg. Inhale, reach way up with the right arm. Exhaling, fold way forward, and wrap the right arm 
around the right leg. Go as low as you can. Hold the left hand or wrist with the right. Inhale, look up, stretch out the left heel. And exhaling, fold slowly over the left leg. So the chin is going towards the left shin or knee. You're drawing the right kidney forward and down, the left sitting bone back, and allow the breath to gradually open With the inhale, we'll look up. With the exhale, cross the legs. Inhaling, lift up. Exhaling, jump back. Inhaling, enthusiastic upward dog pose. Exhaling, pull way, way back to the downward dog. Inhaling, we'll sit down again. Exhaling, pull back the left foot. Inhale, reach way, way up. Exhaling, wrap the left arm. Inhale, look up between the eyebrows. Exhaling, fold. Minimize the lift of the left sitting bone as you draw the left kidney forward and down. Press the inner edge of the right foot forward. Listen to the breath. Adjust the body with the breath. With the inhale, we'll look up between the eyebrows. With the exhale, cross the legs. Inhaling, lift. Exhale, jump back. Inhaling, look up. Exhale. Look to the navel, bend the knees, and inhaling, sit down again. Marichasana B. Exhaling, pull the left heel into the lower belly, just above the pubic bone. Pull the right foot back and out. Inhaling, reach way up with the right arm. Exhaling, fold forward as far as you can. Get the right shoulder as low as possible. Inhaling, look up between the eyebrows, and exhaling, fold, slowly bringing the chin towards the floor between the left knee and the right toes. At first, gaze between the, uh, at the tip of the nose. Later, when you're flexible, look up between the eyebrows. Empty the lower belly behind the heel move from that area evenly. Inhaling, look up between the eyebrows. Exhaling, cross the legs. Inhaling, lift. Exhaling, jump back. Inhale, pull in the coccyx, stiffen the legs. Exhale, pull back. Bend the knees. Inhaling, we'll sit down again. Exhaling, we'll pull the Right foot back, heel right into the lower belly. Pull the left foot back. Inhale, reach way up with the left arm. Exhaling, wrap the left arm. Inhaling, lift the heart, look up between the eyebrows. Exhaling, bring the chin down. Keep the left sitting bone heavy. Keep grounding the outer edge of the left heel. The roots of the left toes are spread and grounded. Heart remains open, the sound of the breath smooth. The skin of the back is pulled down the back. With the inhale, we'll look up between the eyebrows. With the exhale, cross the legs. Inhaling, lift. Exhale, jump back. Inhaling, lift up the heart. Exhaling, pull way, way back. Inhaling, we'll sit down for Marichasana C. Exhale, pull back the right foot, place the right hand behind. Inhale, reach way up towards the ceiling with the left arm, and exhaling, wrap the left arm 
around the right knee. If wrapping is too much at first, you can catch the knee with the elbow. Lift the heart and turn to the right. Find a single point for the eyes and with an empty palate, breathe. Allow the breath to tune the posture. Keep pushing the inner edge of the left foot forward as you ground the right sitting bone. Pull the left kidney up and in towards the inner right thigh. And then with the inhale, we'll release, cross the legs. Inhale, lift. Exhale, jump back. Inhale, pull up the heart, open the groins. Exhale, pull back, bend the knees. Inhaling, we'll sit down for the other side. Exhaling, pull back the left leg. Push the right foot forward. Inhale, reach way, way up. And exhaling, wrap the right arm. Inhale, lift up the heart. And look around, find a point for the eyes. With steady, soft eyes, we keep pushing the inner right foot forward, drawing the inner edge of the right leg down constantly. Ground the outer left heel. Press the backs of the armpits down as you move the center of the crown of the head higher and higher. Then with the inhale, we'll release and unravel. Exhaling, cross the legs. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, jump back. Inhale, the heart up. Exhale, pull back. Bend the knees and inhaling, we sit. Exhaling, pull the left heel back into the lower belly. Draw the right foot back and out. Inhaling, reach way, way up with the left arm from the lower belly. And exhaling, wrap the left arm around the right knee. Empty the lower belly. Take the right hand or wrist with the left. Lift the heart and look at a single point around on the horizon to the right. Ground the right sitting bone and proceed breath by breath. This posture is challenging at first, and if you can't wrap the left arm, then just grab the left knee with the left elbow or even the left hand. Steady eyes. Smile softly to yourself. With the inhale, we'll release. With the exhale, cross. Inhaling, lift up. Exhale, jump back. Inhaling, pull up the heart with pointed toes. Exhale, pull way back, bend the knees. And inhaling, sit down again. Exhaling, pull the right heel into the lower belly. Draw back the left foot. Inhaling, reach way, way up with the right arm. And exhale fully as you wrap the right arm. Take the left hand or wrist, lift up the heart, and turn to the left. So the twist, the hips are twisting to the left, the whole spine is lifting and turning. The backs of the armpits are pressing down. The ears are open, the center of the crown ascends, the tongue is silent, the palate empty, the outer left heel grounded. Inhaling, release, cross the legs, exhaling, inhale, lift, exhaling, jump back, inhaling, open the heart, exhale, pull back, let the skin stretch, bend the knees, and then inhaling, we'll sit down for Navasana. The next four postures in the series are a little bit challenging. The key here is having a good attitude. We should enjoy falling down sometimes. There are alternative positions 
for all of these postures, which anyone can do. So, try your best, laugh, and just stay with the flow. When first practicing these series, you'll get some postures, other postures you won't get at all, and little by little, you'll start to pick up all of the postures and you'll have the series complete. Pull the feet back, take the shins, and sit straight on the back edges of the sitting bones. And then, inhaling, straighten the legs, gaze at the joining of the big toes, hold the palms of the hands parallel to each other. With the exhale, cross the legs without touching the feet to the floor, inhaling, lift up from the floor, exhaling, sit, inhaling, again, straighten the legs. Keep the heart lifted, the front edges of the armpits lifting and widening. Smile softly. Keep the legs enthusiastic. Sit straighter and straighter. Exhaling, cross the legs. Inhaling, lift again. Exhaling, sit. Inhaling, straighten the legs. Lift the heart. Keep the eyes steady. Keep the breath strong and smooth, and that will give you the strength. Then, exhaling, cross the legs. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, pull back through into a handstand. Inhale as the legs straighten up into the sky. And exhaling, slowly glide down into Chitwari. Inhaling, lift up the heart. With state legs. Exhale, pull back way back, open the legs up, enlighten the legs, bend the knees, look up, and inhaling, we'll play leapfrog with ourselves. So we hop and wrap the inner knees way high up on the upper arm. This is called Bhuja Pidasana. Slowly sit back and cross the legs if you can. Look up between the eyebrows, if you can't cross the legs, then just bend the knees. With the exhale, pull the feet in close to the buttocks and tilt forward to place the crown of the head on the floor. Look at the tip of the nose. Use the breath for strength. Keep pulling the feet as far away from the floor as possible. Keep the shoulders squared high and wide. To return, exhale first. Empty of breath, slowly lean back. Inhale as the heart comes up. Exhaling, straighten out the legs. Take a breath in. Exhaling, pull the feet back into Bakasana. Inhale. Exhaling, hop back into Chitwari. Inhale, pull up the heart, pull in the coccyx. Exhale, pull back. Kurmasana, the tortoise pose. Exhale, bend the knees. And inhaling, again, play leapfrog. And then slowly sit down. And dropping the shoulders forward, straighten the arms out to the sides. Catching the upper arm with the back of the knee as high up on the arm as possible. Slowly straighten out the legs, pressing through the heels. Look at the tip of the nose. If you can come all the way down, shoulders to the floor, look up between the eyebrows. Stay with the breath. Keep the root of the palate empty. If possible, lift your heels off the floor with enthusiasm. Then, Kurmasana B, the second form of this posture. Pull the feet back part way, so the legs are bent. And then, cross the right foot over the left foot. And internally dropping the shoulders, drop them down under the knees and reach back around the back to hold one hand with the other. If you can't cross the feet, then just draw the heels fairly close to each other. Look at the tip of the nose. This is just like a turtle having withdrawn into its shell. Then, Raja Kurmasana. We'll come back up and we'll sit up. Then, 
we'll take the left leg and we'll place it behind the neck. With the exhale, place the right leg behind that and pull the two feet as far down the back as possible. Then, placing the hands on the floor, we'll carefully let ourselves down forward again. Stretch the chin forward, so we're placing the collarbones on the floor. Look up between the eyebrows. This posture might take a few weeks of practice to get into. Then we come out of it. We carefully release the hands, press on the floor to lift all the way up off the floor. Then release the feet into Tatibasana, straight legs, and then with the exhale, we'll pull the legs back into Chattwari. Inhaling, pull up the heart. Exhaling, pull back. Bend the knees, and inhaling, we'll sit down again between the hands. We'll cross the legs in Padmasana, pulling the right foot up first, heel into lower belly, and then pulling the left heel up. If you can't do Padmasana, then just sit with the legs crossed. We'll thread the arms through the legs, starting with the right arm, turn the thumbs inside first, and partway through, turn the palms upwards, so that the arms are threaded through the legs. If your arms won't thread, then just reach around the outsides of the thighs. Place the chin and the palms of the hands, and look at the tip of the nose. Now for the fun part. This posture is called the embryo in the womb. We're going to rock nine times around clockwise. Exhaling, rock back. Inhale, rock up partway and turn. And keep going with the breath. Around and around. Nine times. One time for each month of gestation in the womb. With the final Inhale, rock up, place the hands, and lift up into kukutasana, the cock pose. Look up between the eyebrows, keep the heart open, smile softly to yourself. And then with the exhale, we'll sit back down. We'll place the hands next to the hips. With the inhale, lift up. With the exhale, we'll jump back. Inhaling, pull the heart up. Exhaling, pull all the way back into the dog pose. Then bend the knees, and inhaling, we'll sit down in Baddha Konasana. Place the soles of the feet together, pull the heels back about four inches from the pubic bone. Take the toes, and sit up as straight as an arrow. So we have awakened our sacrums, opened our hearts. Point the front edges of the sitting bones straight down into the earth. And then with the inhale, draw the lowest lower belly slightly back and up. With the exhale, slowly fold forward. Keep the heart open. Keep the skin of the upper back and the neck flowing down the back. If your chin has made it to the floor, look up between the eyebrows or gaze to the tip of the nose. Breathe down to the sitting bones so that the sitting bones move towards the earth. Keep emptying the lower belly. Keep establishing Muldha Bandha. With the inhale, we'll look up and we'll sit up straight. Move the sacrum. Exhaling, we'll cross the legs. Inhaling, lift up. Exhaling, jump back. Inhale, pull up the front of the body. Exhale, pull back, opening the buttocks. Bend the knees, and inhaling, we'll hop through, and we'll spread the feet out to the sides. 120 degree opening. This is Upavishta Konasana, the seated angle pose. Take the side of the foot. If the side of the foot is too far, take the big toe. Inhale, look up 
into the forehead, drop the shoulder blades. Exhaling, move from the lower belly to fold forward. The deeper you fold forward, the longer the legs seem to grow. Keep the feet vertical. Keep the sitting bones heavy. Keep drawing the inseam of the legs constantly down. Gaze at the tip of the nose. If you're all the way over, look up between the eyebrows. The heels eventually lift off the floor out of enthusiasm. And then, inhaling, we'll look up and we'll straighten the back. Take the big toe, exhale, curl forward, and inhaling, pick up the feet. Look up into the forehead. This is Antara Drishti. Keep pressing the inner edges of the feet forward and gradually sit straighter and straighter on the back edges of the sitting bones. The heart flows up and opens like a trumpeting flower. Supta Konasana. With the exhale, we rock back and bring the feet out and overhead. The feet are four or five feet apart. Keep pulling the pubic bone towards the ceiling. Soften the throat and the backs of the shoulders and look softly across the tip of the nose. The palate empty, the ears relaxed. We're going to rock back up. So before rocking, exhale. Start to rock empty. Part way up, inhale to lift the heart. Pause. And then with the exhale, we're going to drop forward, landing on our calf muscles, not the heels. We come far forward. Inhale, lift the heart, look up. Exhaling, cross the legs to jump back, or just place the hands between the thighs to jump back. Inhaling, come to the upward facing dog pose. Exhaling, pull back. Bend the knees, look up, and inhaling, we'll lie down on our backs. Supta Hastapadangushtasana. The reclining hand on big toe posture. Lie in the corpse pose, just like Samastitihi fallen. With the inhale, we'll lift up the right leg, we'll grab the right big toe, Place the left hand on the left thigh, and exhaling, we'll sit part way up to bring our chin to the right knee. Look at the tip of the nose, and keep stretching the left leg, pressing through the left heel. Bend the right arm partially, and keep moving the skin down the back constantly. Inhaling, Drop the head back. Exhaling, slowly open the right leg to the right, moving from the point two inches below the navel. Draw the left shoulder back and down to the floor. Turn the head to the left and look at a single point off to the left. We're still practicing Ujjayi Pranayama, still cultivating Uddhyana and Mulabandhas with each breath. With the inhale, we'll draw the right leg up. With the exhale, again chin to knee. With the inhale, the head comes down. Exhaling, the right leg comes down. Inhaling, the left leg comes up. Take the left big toe. Exhaling, chin to knee. Right hand on right thigh. Right leg is enthusiastic, right heel grounded. Steady eyes, constant breath. Inhaling, the head comes back down. Exhaling, open to the side. Look to the right side. Ground the right shoulder, draw the right buttocks back onto the floor.
and then with the inhale, we'll draw the leg up. Exhaling, chin to knee. Inhaling, the head comes down. Exhaling, foot leg down. Chakrasana, the wheel pose. Exhale, empty of breath, start lifting. Part way up, breathe in, lift the hips, and exhaling to a smooth, symmetrical backward roll into Chatwari. Inhaling, pull up the heart. Exhaling, pull way back, bend the knees, and inhaling, we'll lie down on our backs again. Exhale, empty of breath, start lifting, inhale part way up. Exhale as the feet come to the floor overhead, reach up and grab your big toes, straight arms, straight legs. Keep pulling the pubic bone between the legs, looking at the tip of the nose. This is Ubhaya Padangushtasana, the both big toe posture. And now we rock up. Before rocking up, exhale. Empty of breath, start to rock. Part way up, inhale, lift the heart. Turn the face up towards the ceiling. Look up between the eyebrows. Keep lengthening the inseams of the legs. Pressing the inner edges of the feet forward. Lift and widen the fronts of the armpits. Empty palate, open heart. With the exhale, cross the legs. Inhaling, lift. Exhale, jump back. Inhaling, pull up the heart. Exhaling, pull back the pubic bone. Bend the knees. And inhaling, we lie down. Exhale. Empty, start to lift the legs. Inhale, part way up. And exhale again to reach up. This time, grab the sides of the feet. Gaze at the tip of the nose. This is Urdhva Mukha Paschimottanasana. The upward facing forward bend. Rocking up is a little more difficult holding the sides of the feet, but with practice, it's easy. Exhale completely before you start to rock. Start rocking empty of breath. Inhale part way up to lift the heart. Pause on the back edge of the sitting bones. Now we slowly bend the arms, bow the arms, and we slowly draw the legs towards vertical. We look up at the toes, eventually to place our chins on our ankles. Keep the heart open in all circumstances. The palate empty. Then with the inhale, straighten the arms, lift the heart. Exhaling, cross the legs. Inhale, lift. Exhale, jump back. Inhaling, pull up the heart. Exhaling, pull back. And then inhaling, we'll lie down on our backs for Setu Bandhasana or its variations. Draw the feet up and place the heels about 16 inches from the sitting bones and turn the feet out to the side like Charlie Chaplin's feet. And then Matsyasana, the fish pose. Using the elbows, lift up the chest, look back and place the crown of the head on the floor, and then draw the elbows down under the small of the back with the palms turned up. Okay. Many of us should just remain in the fish pose. The next phase, if you feel confident, place the arms out to the sides, take a deep breath in, Start to lift the hips, look up between the eyebrows, and gradually roll over towards the forehead. Straighten the legs, make the buttocks firm as a rock, look up between the eyebrows, release the palate completely. Then, 
we return to the fish pose. Then, from the fish pose, we lift the head and lie back flat. Chakrasana, the wheel pose. Empty of breath, start to lift the legs. Inhale and exhale, do a backward roll into Chattori. Inhaling, open up the heart, open the throat. Exhaling, pull back the groins, open the buttocks completely, widen the backs of the shoulders, bend the knees, and inhaling, we'll lie down on our backs again. Urdhva Dhanurasana, the upward bow pose. Draw the feet back, place them near the hips, about 16 inches apart and parallel to each other. Place the arms up by the ears. If you're stiff or if your arms are not yet strong enough for this posture, practice Setu Bandha Sarvangasana instead of it. Inhale down into the lower belly and press the pubic bone up towards the ceiling. Release the belly completely. Breathe freely. Keep drawing the front of the body up as the back of the body flows down. Mula Bandha is the basis of the posture. Breathe freely. Keep the inner edge of the foot grounded. And then exhaling, we come down. Place the shoulders and then roll out the spine as you exhale. We'll rest for two breaths. Once again, with the exhale, establish Mula Bandha. With the inhale, we come up, trying to move the point two inches below the navel up towards the ceiling so that it's the highest point in the body. Allow the belly to spread and to flow up the front of the body. The back of the body continues to move down. Again, with the exhale, place the shoulders, roll out the spine, place the sacrum down. One more time. Remember, always move with the breath. The breath is the vehicle of the intelligence. With the exhale, we again curl the coccyx towards the pubic bone. With the inhale, breathe into that curl. Let the front of the body release and flow upwards until it f comes over and flows down the back. Deep breathing. Ground the inner edge of the foot, strengthen the legs. Now if you're inclined, you can slowly walk the hands in towards the heel. Exhale, and with the inhale, push with the fingertips and stand up. If you came back down, then draw the knees up to the belly, squeeze the thighs to the belly, and then with the exhale, we'll rock up, and then we'll begin the finishing postures. Paschimottanasana. Stretch out the legs straight in front, reach forward, take the feet with your favorite hand position, and then inhaling, Look up between the eyebrows. Lift the front of the spine. Exhaling, fold forward. Listen to the quality of the breath. This is essentially just a breathing exercise. The heart open. Eyes steady. Then, inhaling, we'll lift the head, look between the eyebrows. Exhaling, lie back in the corpse pose with the sides of the big toes touching, 
This is the enthusiastic corpse pose, the stiffened corpse pose. It's like samastitihi, except it's fallen. So the bottom of the feet are squared as if you were standing. Shoulder blades tucked fully down the back. So the next posture is Sarvangasana. If you have neck problems, be sure to place padding under the shoulders. If you're using padding under the shoulders, you'll have to draw the knees up before lifting the legs. Otherwise, we'll exhale. Empty of breath, start to lift the legs. Inhale as the legs come up. Draw the feet just overhead slightly in order to set the shoulders for Sarvangasana. Draw the elbows as close to each other as possible. Press the hands into the back, and then stretch the toes up over the nose. Look up at the toes. So the entire spine is drawn up and into the body. So the base of the neck is off the floor, the seventh cervical vertebra, the large vertebra of the base of the neck is drawn into the softness of the mouth. The sacrum is pressed forward into the body. The throat is completely soft. The legs are stretching upwards. They're lifting up out of the hips. The inner edge of the foot is stretched upwards. The inner heel is up. The inseam of the leg is pulled back behind the leg. Listen to the breath, smile softly. This is a very pleasant posture. The palate is receptive to the flow of the front of the body. The root of the palate is considered to be the reservoir of nectar. The skin of the back is pulled and is flowing up towards the heels. Do not draw the chin down into the Adam's apple. Keep the chin neutral and allow the upper sternum to gradually grow towards the chin. Keep the feet together, the sole of the foot in bloom, the breath even, the eyes steady. With the exhale, we'll slowly fold into halasana, the plow pose. Fold right at the groins, clasp the hands together, and then press the straightened arms down to the floor. Pull the pubic bone up between the legs and pull the spine as straight as possible. In the plow pose, the legs are very stiff and enthusiastic. If possible, point the toes. Gaze down at the tip of the nose, yet keep the center of the palate high. The lower belly hollowed in front of the sacrum as if we had developed a slight suction power in that area. Widen the bridge of the nose, empty the palate, and then with the exhale we'll relax the legs and we'll bring the inner knees down to cup the ears. This is Karna Pidasana, the squeezing of the ears posture. Here we allow the spine to curl as much as possible. Gaze at the tip of the nose. Meditate on the tip of the nose as if it were sacred. Circulate the breath through the entire body, including the perineum. Continue to press the straightened arms down into the floor. Relax the ears. 
relax the eyes. And then we'll place the hands on the back in the Sarvangasana position, bring the elbows as close to each other as possible, spread the hands flat into the back, pushing the skin of the back towards the ceiling. And then inhaling, step back up into Sarvangasana. Lift the legs, lengthen the inseams of the legs. Look up at the toes. Then we'll cross the legs, starting with the right leg, cross into Padmasana if possible. Place the hands on the knees, bring the thighs to horizontal, draw the lower belly back just above and behind the pubic bone, gaze at the tip of the nose, keep the palate empty, the spine straight. If you're unable to do Padmasana, you can simply cross the legs or just put the soles of the feet together. Completely release the muscles of the throat and the neck. Keep the lower belly alive. Allow the effect of gravity to assist you in the cultivation of Mula Bandha. Then, with the exhale, we'll draw the knees down towards the tops of the shoulders and the floor. We'll reach out and around the thighs and we'll clasp our hands together. And then we'll squeeze very evenly into Pindasana, the ball posture. Look down at the tip of the nose, keep the palate high and empty. The breath smooth and complete. Widen the backs of the shoulders. And then we'll roll slowly down. Place the arms down along the mat and exhale as you roll back down. Keep the legs crossed. Take the backs of the legs with the hands. Using the elbows, lift up the heart, drop the head back, place the crown of the head on the floor, look up between the eyebrows, and take your big toes, if they're available in Padmasana. Lift the heart, ground the sitting bones. Using the breath, relax the ears, empty the palate as you gaze at infinity between the eyebrows. So as the sitting bones drop deeper and deeper towards the center of the earth, the center of the heart continually flowers in response. The ears relax, the tongue is silent, the eyes steady. And then press the knees to the floor, and then we'll unravel the legs, and we'll stretch the legs out into the sky at about a 45 degree angle from the floor. The top half of the body remains in Matsyasana, the heart lifted, the breath deep. And then we'll place the hands up by the ears, and exhaling, lift your head, drop the shoulders to the floor, and then we do Chakrasana, the backward roll. Exhale, roll smoothly, symmetrically. If you can't do chakrasana, then sit up and jump back into the fourth position, chatwari. Inhale, lift the heart. Exhale, pull back the buttocks. And then we'll drop down to our knees for shirshasana, the headstand. So we'll draw the roots of the index fingers together, we'll touch the tips of the thumbs, pull the wrists apart, and place the elbows 
right at shoulder width. So we want to create a proper foundation for the headstand. Then lift and widen the shoulders completely. Place the center of the crown of the head on the floor and then straighten the legs, lifting the hips. Walk the feet in towards the face as you exhale. And then inhaling, lift the legs up, stretching longer and longer the inseam of the leg. Keep the feet together, ankles together. Lift and widen the backs of the shoulders so that the back of the neck is at its maximum length. You should be able to see the inner left elbow with the right eye and the inner right elbow with the left eye. So don't allow the elbows to go too wide. The w broad framework of the shoulders seems to distribute the weight evenly so that it feels very light at the crown of the head. When you're steady, gaze at the tip of the nose. Draw the line of the groins slightly back towards the sacrum. Stretch the inner heel up to lengthen the inseam of the leg before pointing the toes up. Keep the kidneys wide. We'll lower the legs to horizontal slowly as we exhale. So we fold right at the hip joint, look at the big toes, and keep the back of the neck long. Don't allow the backs of the shoulders to come in and towards the floor. The lower belly is in Uddiyana Bandha. Complete the exhale and inhaling along the inseams of the legs, lengthen the legs as we come back up into Shirshasana. Exhale. Inhale, and then with the exhale, we'll shift our weight towards the elbows and we'll lift the head entirely off the floor, keeping the body straight. So the groins remain hollowed towards the sacrum. The neck is lengthened, the backs of the shoulders are kept wide. And then exhaling, we'll place the head back down onto the floor. Inhale in Shirshasana and then exhaling we'll slowly come down and we'll rest in Balasana, the child's pose, with the arms stretched overhead. Rest in this posture until you feel very happy. Inhaling we'll sit up straight. Open the heart. Exhaling, hop into Chattvari. Inhaling, pull slowly into a very deep, complete upward dog. Curl in the coccyx, pull up the front of the body. Exhaling, pull back the pubic bone. Pull the pubic bone between the legs, behind the legs, and then Widen the pubic bone. Ground the roots of the fingers. Ground the roots of the toes. And then with the exhale, we'll bend the knees. Inhaling, we'll sit down. And we'll sit in Badha Padmasana. So if possible, cross the legs into Padmasana, the lotus posture. Right foot up first. Reach around with the left arm, grab the left big toe, and exhaling, throw the right arm underneath the left behind your back and grab the big toe. If the big toes are not available, hold the forearms behind the back. Press the shoulders low. Inhaling, look up, lift up the front of the spine and drop the weight through the front edges of the sitting bones. Exhaling, fold forward. Bring the chin to the floor and look up between the eyebrows. If the chin doesn't make it to the floor, 
then drop the forehead and look to the nose. Follow the breath carefully. This is Ujjayi Pranayama practice. The sitting bones become very heavy and are grounding. The shoulders are pressed down. The back of the body seems to flow down. Yet, the front of the spine flows upwards, opening the center of the heart, moving up behind the root of the palate, behind the center of the eyebrows to the crown of the head. Be sure to complete each exhale. Continuously re-establish Mulabandha. Then, completing the exhale, inhale all the way down onto the sitting bones and sit up straight. Unwrap the arms and place the hands in Jnana Mudra, the seal of wisdom. We'll sit straight as an arrow, the front edges of the sitting bones pointing straight down into the earth. Lift the whole front of the spine Drop the shoulders low and drop the chin down onto the collar. So we're back to practicing the art of listening to the sound of the breath. Empty the palate. Allow the heart to widen, to open. Draw the lowest lower belly just above the pubic bone, back and up as you inhale. As you exhale, keep the heart completely open, the palate empty. The front of the armpit lifts and widens as the back of the armpit drops and widens. So we're circulating the inner breath from the center of the perineum to the center of the crown of the head. And then we'll place the hands next to the hips and with the inhale we'll lift the hips entirely off the floor. Utplatahi, the uprooting. Look up between the eyebrows, press the shoulder blades down the back, curl up from below. Very smooth, strong breathing. And then we'll jump back for the last time in the series. With the exhale, jump back. Inhale, pull into the deepest upward dog pose. Exhaling, pull back, spread the buttocks high into the sky. Widen the backs of the shoulders as you ground the root of the index finger. And then with the exhale, we'll bend the knees and inhaling, we'll lie down for Shavasana, the corpse pose. The corpse pose comes in two phases. The first phase is the practice of rigor mortis, the stiffness of death. It's as if we were enthusiastic, and couldn't wait, and so we're going to practice the art of dying. Place the feet together as if you were standing in samastitihi. Stretch down through the heels. Draw the arms in fairly close to the sides of the body and turn the palms down. Press the center of the back of the head back onto the floor. Tuck the shoulder blades all the way down the back so that the heart lifts and opens. And then, relaxing the mouth completely, we gradually allow the corpse to dissolve. the sacrum in the back of the head simultaneously spread open into the floor. We turn the breath over to itself, the breath breathing itself. The muscles of the buttocks and the calves soften. The hands and the feet release their grips on the world. 
the heart floats up bright and empty. The skin on the palms of the hands softens. The bridge of the nose widens. The tongue 